seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone. So today I wanted to do a series of three videos for you guys to help you with picking out the perfect Australian Shepherd puppy for you. Um, there's a lot of things that people should know about before they pick out an Australian Shepherd puppy, how to get a reputable breeder, the genetic conditions that could be associated with your puppy, and picking out, you know, a male or a female, which one do you really want to get? So I hope that these videos are helpful and we're going to dive right into the first video. That's all the people that watch you because you're so cute. Oh, kisses for the people. Kisses for the people. <laughs> come here. Come give me one. All right. So topic number one is going to be male or female. Which one is right for you? So there's a couple of things that you want to consider before you decide on a male or a female. And one of the main things that would be a deciding factor is size of the animal. Um, when it comes to personality, there's not really a big difference between males and females. Um, every dog is going to be completely their own individual, so you can't predict personality based off of male and female really. Uh, but the thing you can predict is size. So if you are wanting a smaller Australian Shepherd, chances are you probably want to go with a female. Females are pretty much generally smaller than males. <laughs> um, you can have exceptions, but normally females will be smaller than males. So if you're looking for a smaller dog, then you want to go with maybe a female. If you're wanting a bigger dog, um, then you might want to go with a male. Right. So the second thing that you want to consider before you get a male or a female is how they're going to turn out later on in life. And what I mean by this is that males will generally scent mark a lot more than females will and it's going to affect your life a little bit more um, just because they do lift up their leg. So if you are worried about having urine get on things that are higher up, then a female might be right for you. It really depends on, on what you want. Some people that doesn't matter at all and some people it does matter. Um, usually if you neuter your male, earlier on, you're not going to have as much scent marking. Um, females will mark as well, but they don't mark in the same way, they mark on the ground. So um, it's completely up to you. Some people are bothered by it, some people aren't. As long as you aren't, then it's not a problem. Um, next thing you want to consider is whether or not you're going to be sterilizing your animal. If you're not going to sterilize your animal, you're going to have a lot harder of a time with a female. That's just because a female has an estrus cycle. So once she hits her first estrus cycle, she will continue to bleed throughout her life in about six month um, increments. So if you don't want to have to deal with that and you don't want to sterilize your animal, then probably a male would be better for you. Um, but if you're planning on sterilizing a female or a male um, with females, that whole issue goes away. The uterus is no longer in the body, so you're not going to have to deal with um, bleeding anymore. The other thing that you might want to consider when you're picking between a male and a female, it's a pretty trivial thing, but it might, might affect some people's decisions, is that a female will logistically be more expensive than a male in the first year, only if you're planning on sterilizing. So um, normally a male and a female will probably eat around the same amount. You know, you can have a dog that eats a lot or a dog that eats very little. It's totally variable. But a female, when you look at the vet costs associated with spaying, is going to be a lot higher than a male that gets neutered. Neutering is less expensive than spaying. So if money is something that you think about, um, when you're considering a male or a female. I personally would, would not have that influence my decision at all, but I'm gonna put it out there. Females are gonna be more expensive than males in the first year based off of veterinary costs. So that's something to maybe think about if that's something that would affect your decision. So those are the basic things that I think people need to think about before getting a male or a female. Um, you know what, in the end, 
you're gonna get a dog that has its own personality. There's no picking and choosing what personality you have based off of um, the sex of the animal, really. So it's completely up to you on whether or not you want a larger animal, if you're okay with um, scent marking sometimes, uh, if you want to deal with an estrus cycle and keep your animal intact, and also, who knows, some people might want to know the costs associated with it. And in the end, you're going to find a dog and you're going to love that dog no matter what. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to be putting up the second and third video on picking an Australian Shepherd puppy. You're going to want to watch these because it talks about genetic conditions in your Aussie and how to make sure that you pick the healthiest Aussie for you. So. Hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching you guys. See you later. Bye.